Now, we know what we want as sewists, but how can we use those skills to make things for our friends and family? Hi, I'm Allie, the Literary Sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I review. But in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite easy gifts to sew for friends, family, teachers, and white elephant gift exchanges. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness, including book review inspired sewing projects, sewing tutorials, book chat, and informational guides just like this one. Fabric Scrap Coasters. You'll need one cotton batting, two main fabric, two accent fabric, two backing fabric. Sandwich the batting between the backing fabric pieces right sides out. Fold the main fabric and accent fabric in half, then press. Arrange the folded pieces alternating the fabrics with the raw edges out. Place the right side down on top of the sandwiched bottom. Clip in place and sew along all four edges. Trim your seam allowance and clip the corners. Reach in between the folded pieces and turn right sides out. Push out corners and press. Fabric placemats. You will need one cotton batting, one main fabric, one backing fabric. Place the batting under the backing fabric with the main fabric on top, right sides together. Clip together, you will sew around the edges, leaving a three inch gap. Sew with a straight stitch, three eighths inches from edge. Trim your seam allowance and clip the corners. Reach in and turn right sides out, push and pull out corners. Press edges, tucking in the opening. Top stitch one quarter inch from edge. Press seams into your placemat lengthwise in quarters. Repeat for the width. You will stitch in the ditch where you created the folds. Contrasting thread is a fun way to get creative in this step. Mug Cozy. You will need cotton batting, main fabric, backing fabric, button, elastic, printed pattern piece. Place batting on top of the backing with the main fabric on top, right sides together. Clip together. You will sew around three of the edges, leaving one short end open. Trim your seam allowance and clip the corners. Reach in and turn right sides out. Push out corners. Press edges, tucking in the opening. Add your elastic loop to the open end. Top stitch 1 8 inch from edge. This will close the open end and secure the elastic loop in place. Attach your button to the opposite end. I like to use my sewing machine, but hand stitching works too. Fabric bunting. You will need one strip of fabric two inches wide by 84 inches long, 18 four inch by six inch triangles. 
For each triangle, sew two right sides together one quarter inch from edge. Be sure to stitch over the first seam with the second seam. Clip the tip of the triangle, but do not cut through the cross stitches. Turn right sides out, then push pull out corners. Repeat for each triangle pair, then press them flat. Top stitch 1 8 inch from edge for all triangles. If your strip of fabric is in smaller pieces to make it long enough, attach them end to end now. Press the long edges of your strip into the middle. Using a bias tape tool is especially helpful here. Fold in half and press again. Insert the triangles in the middle of the fabric strip. Space them out evenly across your fabric. Top stitch 1 8 inch from the open edge, which will secure the triangles. Tinsel Scarf by Fat Quarters Fabric. Books and Treats Tote Bag by me. Journal Notebook Cover, also by me. Pocket Infinity Scarf by Patterns for Pirates. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video gave you a ton of ideas of things to sew for people. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness and ring the bell so you get notified every time there's a new video uploaded. <laughs> See you next time.